Well, welcome back everybody. We just woke up here in a new part of Florida. We are in Amelia Island outside of Jacksonville. We drove here from Tampa two days ago. Um, we got in pretty late, did a little fishing, had a big shark hooked. So the first night we showed up pretty late and then yesterday we had a bunch of errands to take care of and didn't get to fish until like five, six o'clock at night and the wind and the waves were just like making it impossible. I'm no pro on surf fishing by any means, but it was ridiculous. I'm throwing six ounce leads and I was not holding bottom. I was just getting pushed down the shore, literally staying right on the water. So we literally just walk right over that and we are on the beach. You can fish all day, all night. Today, the wind is gonna be a lot less, like I said, so it should be good. All right, like I said, I'm down here with the whole family out here joining me right now. is my mom from the Trout Catch and Cook video. What up, Western Outdoorsman? <laughs> yep, and this is my lovely Auntie A here. She flew all the way from St. Croix in the Virgin Islands to join us. Hopefully, we're gonna be catching some fish. These guys are the certified fish tasting reviewers. That's right. Uh, and in here, we got a bunch of ladies bums that should be fishing. We got Mr. John Potty, you probably remember him I'll from wait, the video. I'll wait, put down the camera and grab a rod so we can head out there. Uh -huh. Exactly. We got my sister. I don't think you guys met her. What's going on? She flew down and joined us with her boyfriend, Mr. Potter, here. And Peyton and I obviously drove. We've been fishing all around. We stocked this place up to the brim. We're here for a whole week. We got so many drinks, some booze. We got a cupboard full of chips. We got stuff for dinner. I don't think we're going to eat out once. I think we're just going to cook the entire time. We got uh, bathrooms. This place is honestly the ultimate fishing setup. It's got beach access right there. The truck comes under right here. Uh, we got outdoor eating tables. I'm just gonna call this a fish fillet table. We got outdoor shower to get all the sand off. Once we get back, honestly, this will probably be the fillet table here with the sink. We have been on the road for now 12 nights living out of the truck. It feels great to finally be here, settle in, um, unpack the bags, actually have a pantry full of food. You know, we got six more nights here. Okay, you keep it in yours and then tomorrow we're not coming back. It's yeah. in the shower. We got some almond milk and some coffee. Can't take a treat. Is that the juice? <laughs> That's the juice. All right, enjoy. We got a banana nut muffin. Banana nut muffin, very nice. <laughs> and the last to arrive. There's some more line. I got this humongous shrimp head. This is one of the biggest shrimps I've ever seen. I'm just gonna chuck this out on the big rod. And try to keep it in line with my rod holder. Chuck that out there. Yeah, are you far right? Okay. All right, got a five ounce lead. The cut mullet on this rig I got at the store. I'm just gonna chuck it out as far as I can. Looks pretty good. This rod here has the mullet on it. I'm just holding this one with shrimp as I cast it out there. So we got lots of opportunities to catch fish. Um, it's early still, but it would be nice to hook up with something soon. It's been a little bit. So let's see what happens. All right, well, we spent a good couple hours here. I got several bites, for sure bites, but we didn't hook up with anything, but it's really low tide, and I know that's not a prime time to do this. I don't know, we're gonna go make some dinner now, and then uh, definitely come back tonight. I still have several bags full of mullet, and the only good news is, is these leads that I picked up today with all the spikes are definitely holding the bottom. So tonight when we come out here, a, the wind will be less, and B, we can have confidence knowing that our bait will stick to the bottom with these uh, spikes. So we'll come out here tonight for sure. Uh, I got three rods that we can chuck some mullet out tonight and then just see what happens. I Every time I've shark fished on this trip at night, I've gotten at least one bite. I haven't landed one yet. Um, you know, they'll take me for a good ride and I'll just snap off, but I feel like I have confidence. I've been to the bait shop, you know, more times than I can count on this trip. I got wire leader now, big heavy leads, those spikes, tons of mullet. Good span spike, sand spikes here, so we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We're heading out about 25 yards out. <laughs> yeah. Start dropping. Yep. Right by yeah, yeah, and that just goes right in his hat. I'm worried about that. Put it right there. That's what it always is whenever order food is. 
And we're gonna get out there and go fish with some sharks tonight. I'm a gangster. Spiritual gangster. <laughs> Grab the brand. Oh, what's this? We got the sorority shirt. Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. Gotta catch a shark for Sigma, Sigma tonight. Amen. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Hammerhead. Catch three or four. Yeah, it's, yeah, what kind of shark are we gonna catch tonight? Uh, a huge one. Big. A huge one. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We've got some jalapeno burgers. we got some regular burgers. <laughs> Salute. Here it is. Cheers, everybody. In Florida. Yeah. In Florida. It's like 9 30, 10 o'clock ish. It's really hard to film in the light here, but we have three rods casted out at the beach. All three have a uh, mullet on them, just finger mullet. Uh, I got this rod here with 30 pound, 30 pound braid. This rod has 30 pound braid. And then I have some on like a high low rig over here, which is mono. I think it's like 10 pound mono, all on the rod spikes. And um, yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. We uh, fished for a while last night. I ended up having Peyton take the GoPros back because we weren't getting any bites. We were kind of wrapping up. And then all of a sudden at the very end, John caught a little whiting. Um, and it actually wasn't a bad one, maybe. 12, 13 inches. Yesterday, while the fishing was bad, um, it definitely was an abbreviated day. You know, we didn't start fishing until like four. We had some stuff in the afternoon to take care of. Surf is super light right now. I'm gonna go fish for a while, um, and then we're gonna get some more heavier spikes and then fish just all day long. So today is the day to fish. I didn't even realize like, I had this guy on the line. It's just the smallest catfish, something. Well, I'm not even realizing that I have these guys on. We don't get a lot of fish that taste good in Colorado, so my standards aren't high. And we're gonna try to do tacos tonight for dinner, so we need a lot of meat. It's, it all tastes the same when you fry it in peanut oil and fish fry batter to me. But this guy is a bit small. I'm not gonna get spun by him. Their spines are so nasty. Cool, well at least we're catching fish. Here we go. Ah! That's what's up right there. I just keep catching fish off camera. I literally just had a small speckled trout land in. It was probably only like 12 inches. I just threw it right back, but still, I'm not even feeling anything when I reel them in. Like it just feels like the weight. Well, literally all the fish that I am catching are so small. I don't even know they're on the hook. I take my GoPro off because I don't want it to get knocked off my head. First shark, black tip, another shark. Let's go show everybody and then let them go. Oh yeah. It was giving me, yeah, there it is, it's a shark. Another one? What the fuck? All right, well, we just got back to the rental house here. We had a pretty good afternoon of fishing. We were out there for like five or six hours, probably caught 15 fish or so. A vast majority of the fish, we didn't even know we were on the line until they were just right in the surf and we were just looking at them like, what the heck? I'm gonna go cook, hang out with my grandparents, go to the pool and just uh, chillax for the night. She dropped this. And the other one. Hi. Let's unload and let's eat. We are here. A pop pop jalapeno. Yeah. Also known as a jala pop pop, you know. What kind of beer you're drinking? It's Trace Eckies. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody stole one of my Eckies. <laughs> Those Eckies, baby. All right, we got a bunch of stuff for chicken tacos. My grandpa's got a bunch of jalapenos here. We got so many different types of tortillas, chips. Antia is here making bean dip. Yeah, bean dip with cilantro and peppers, awesome. red and green bells. Yeah. Awesome, be awesome. Yeah. You, go ahead, baby. You're a good boy. I love you. We got I love Billy you. here. Billy, come here. Look at, look at Billy, the camera. Give me some love. Nice I'm a good boy. boy. Yes, sir. Got a nice smoker. 
We got cutting board and kitchen area here. We got a grill. We got a flat top griddle, charcoal grill pool. He's got the setup back here. It looks looking great. Oh, we got a bunch of chicken thighs seasoned up here. We got some corn on the grill, chopping some cherry wood. Boom. Nice. All right. That's it done. Throw this on the grill. I was planning on making some fish with these tacos. I always like to do like chicken and fish tacos, but I don't even know. We've just caught so many small fish. It's like, whatever. It's smoking hot. That's what it is. Hot on the fingers. Good. 